Just like we've talked about in previous videos, there are three types of markets in which you can invest in short-term rentals. There are metro markets such as Nashville, Atlanta, Austin, uh, San Diego, places that are big metropolitan areas that have tourism but are not necessarily dependent on the tourism industry. There's lots of other types of industries as well. The second type is what I call the fly to vacation market. So these markets are dependent on tourism, not a lot of other types of industry there, but they are the types of vacations that people are having to save all year long to go on. So think big ski vacations like Aspen, uh, big beach vacations like Hawaii, places that people are typically having to fly to to go on vacation. The third type of short-term rental market, my personal favorite, is the regional drivable vacation market. So these markets are also dependent on tourism, but the majority of the tourists that go to these markets are driving in rather than flying in. I prefer that because they aren't as dependent on what's going on with flights. So people are staying in control of their own environment, so you don't really have to worry about COVID as much by driving, and they're not as affected by fluctuations in flight prices, things like that. So these are areas that people are able to make short notice trips and uh, they typically book up a little more short notice than the big fly to destinations. Now, there is no right or wrong market to invest in. The way to invest or the way to analyze where to start if you don't know if you want to look at metro markets or fly to markets or drive to vacation markets is you want to check the regulations. So if you're thinking, oh, you know what? I really like this one market. I like to go there. I want to buy a short term rental there. The first thing you need to do, whether it's a metro, fly to or drive through, is check those regulations. Regulations are going to be the most important thing. They're going to be the thing that determines whether or not it's even a good idea to start analyzing properties in that market. So when you're choosing a city to invest in short term rentals, you always, always start with regulations. And how do you find the regulations? You call either the city or if the properties are mainly outside the city limits, you call the county codes, zoning, planning, building departments. It will have one of those words in there depending on where you're calling or what, what city or county you're calling. And if you call the wrong person, they're typically happy to connect you to the right office. So number one thing to check before you even start looking at income and analysis is check those regulations.